Washington. A Helena nonprofit is looking to 2019 with plans to continue its work getting medical supplies to areas of the world that need assistance. MTN's Melissa Jensen introduces us to the founder of Hands On Global and tells us more about the group's international outreach. They really have no choice. The whole infrastructure of their world is blown up. Hands-on Global Executive Director Valerie Hellerman is talking about the refugees she's met who have fled their homeland by the thousands. The group recently returned from the Moria refugee camp in Greece, where they work to deliver medical supplies to some of the 12,000 people there. And they're coming from all over, but predominantly they're fleeing from Syria and Afghanistan. These people are fleeing from war, from economic devastation, environmental devastation, political and religious persecution. Nobody is leaving because they want to. Their work also takes them to Zanskar in northern India. People there are not fleeing their home, rather they are in need of assistance in developing a health care system. There is a hospital that the Dalai Lama built and he asked Hands on Global to open. So every year we go and we build on that hospital. We bring equipment and we bring a team of doctors, nurses, and non-medical providers to help us. And we are building a healthcare system that is sustainable. Hellerman says 90% of the donations to Hands On Global go towards the medical supplies that they deliver. Volunteers pay their own way to get to India or Greece. She says that what happens in the U.S. has ripple effects across the globe. We live globally now. We're not isolated anymore. So what happens in Europe is affecting us. Our lifestyles affect how economics work in other parts of the world. So, you know, it goes back and forth. And now at our southern border, this is really affecting a lot of people in the United States. And that is their next stop. Several hands-on global volunteers are already at the southern border helping provide medical care. Hellerman says they'll continue to assess what role they can play in helping and will visit all three locations in 2019. Melissa Jensen, MTN News, Helena.